will start. Mesdames et Messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, hello, good morning. So welcome to this press conference with Commissioner Jonathan Hill on the launch today of new prospectus rules for the Capital Market Union. The press material you will find outside this press room and online. And after this press conference, uh, the normal uh, midday will resume. And that will be followed by a short technical briefing on today's proposals on the prospectus rules. Uh, but just to start us off, Commissioner, if you could perhaps Give us a, an overview of uh, what it is that we're proposing today. Thank you. Well, good morning. Uh, today we are, as Vanessa said, publishing a proposal to overhaul the prospectus directive. And my goal, and it's the goal at the heart of the Capital Markets Union, is to make it easier for companies of all sizes in Europe to get funding on the capital markets. And by creating a simpler, cheaper and faster uh, prospectus regime, I want to help companies that have got good ideas to grow and to create jobs here in Europe. We're starting with prospectuses because they're what businesses use to publish before raising money uh, on places like stock exchanges. They're a key document for potential investors and for companies they're the springboard to capital markets. Last year, while companies in the EU raised some 370 billion euros through the issuance of shares or corporate bonds, companies in America raised over three times that amount. And I suppose at the most simple, I'd like European businesses to be able to raise more. But at the moment, prospectuses can be a barrier, particularly for smaller companies. They can run to hundreds of pages in length. Here we are, uh, and they can be extremely expensive to produce, costing anything between tens of thousands of euros to a million. Um, so today's proposal will help return prospectuses more closely to their original purpose, to provide clear and comparable information to investors across Europe so that companies can unlock the investment they need to grow. And when companies are looking to raise only a small amount of capital, we should drop them altogether. So there are five main areas where we plan changes. First, we're increasing the amount of capital you can raise on EU markets without a prospectus at all. That'll go up five times from 100,000 to 500,000 euros. And if they want to, member states will be able to raise that limit to 10 million euros, which is twice the current threshold. Second, we're going to create a special regime for smaller companies. And this will allow SMEs to produce simpler and cheaper prospectuses. And we'll make sure that the cost of producing a prospectus isn't disproportionate to the investment sought. All SMEs with a market capitalization under 200 million euros, up from the current limit of 100 million euros, will qualify for this new regime. Third, we want to streamline the process for companies which have already issued a prospectus and want to raise capital on a repeat basis. And that's currently around 70% of all prospectuses. I don't think it makes sense that you should have to keep producing the same amount of information if you've already done it before. And businesses, once they've made key information available, the, in future they won't need to provide the whole lot all over again when raising further capital. And this in itself will speed up the process and save listed companies, we estimate, up to 100 million euros a year. Fourth. We're acting to halve the approval times for larger companies that tap the markets frequently by creating a frequent issuer regime. These companies will only have to produce an annual universal registration document that can be used each time they go to the market. And this will help our companies be more nimble and it will reduce the approval times for raising capital from 10 to 5 days. And fifth, We'll make prospectuses more useful for investors. We'll shorten them, we'll reduce the information they need to include, and sharpen up their focus. 
and once approved, will make all EU prospectuses available in one place where investors will find all the information they need on the companies they're interested in backing. So this proposal is a key early action of the Capital Markets Union. Uh, taken together, these measures will make it easier for companies to get funding in Europe. They will make prospectuses simpler, faster and cheaper to produce. They'll be clearer to investors, they'll be easier to get hold of, and I think that all 28 member states would benefit. And I'm looking forward now in the weeks and months ahead to working with them and the European Parliament to get this proposal adopted as speedily as possible and that way support businesses that create growth in Europe. Thank you. Very many thanks, Commissioner. And for those of you who uh, arrived just a couple of minutes late, uh, the speech will also be published and available online shortly after this press conference. Uh, there will be a technical briefing afterwards, just to remind you, so please reserve your uh, more technical questions for that. And now we have uh, time just to take two or three of your questions. Please introduce yourselves and the name of your media, and we'll start with Marco. Thank you, Vanessa. It's Marco Zatrin, La Stampa Commissioner. You said 